So hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Sanders Legacy Challenge for The Sims 4. So if you guys have been keeping up with it, you know last episode, Kayla finally got married! <laughs> she got married to Kate, and a lot of people didn't agree with that, honestly, and um, I respect that, yeah. I, I respect that, but now that they're married, Kate has decided it was time to move his new family into a brand new house in Newcrest. Not, is it called Newcrest? I can never remember. I always want to call it Newport, but it's Newcrest, right? <laughs> yeah, I sound like such a noob right now, but we are moving the family into a brand new house. We have a little little tessa here but here is the street that they live on and if you look over here down the street you will see that um trey and marley live a few houses down so they live on the same road too and this is the house that kayla has decided to move into with kate um it's kind of like i kind of redecorated it a little bit to more suit their lifestyle but um I don't know. I may I may decorate it more in the future. It does really depends because they don't really know how long I plan on playing with this particular family because I eventually want to um, switch roles to Melanie in the future eventually. So, it, but you know, we'll finish Kayla's story first. No worries. But Tessa seems, her needs seem to be great. Like she is living right now. <laughs> so I guess we will... Um, I think that Kayla should pick up Tessa and take her to her brand new room and show her around their new home. Um, this is a big day for Kayla. I mean, she's she finally got everything she wanted, right? This is this is what she wanted all along. This is what she gave up love with Trey for. Um, this was her perfect life. So here we have Tessa's room that I sort of kind of decorated just like spare of the moment, like literally 10 minutes before I filmed this. I decided to kind of redecorate the room to make it more toddler and girly because I feel like Gayla's daughter is going to be super girly. Um, Tessa definitely, I definitely see in Tessa growing up to be, you know, that girl. If you, if you, if you know what I mean, you know. You know, so we're gonna have Kayla come over here and kind of just show Tessa her brand new room and it's very pink and it's very girly and I really think that it um, suits Tessa really well. So we're gonna have Tessa come over here and talk to this unicorn, which will probably be her best friend one day. I don't know. But yeah, I, I like her room. I think it's very cute and very pretty. And over here, we got the blue room, which is Kayla and Kate's bedroom. And the rest of the house, I haven't really touched. It just got a game like this. I haven't spent a lot of time doing much. But I don't think there's lights in these bathrooms, which... <laughs> There's <laughs> a problem. You gotta be able to see when you go take your dump, right? Oh, 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 and I also need a um an, a potty chair for Tessa. So I forgot about that. And also I don't even remember if I got a high chair or not. Uh man, I'm so unprepared. Okay, so I think I got everything that I needed to in the house. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully hopefully oh wow okay so the happy couple is already looking forward to their honeymoon night of course you know they decided to stay home for the night instead of going on an official honeymoon because they do have tessa and they are just now moving into this brand new house so really having the privacy of having their own huge bedroom is definitely like a honeymoon for them so it's not really bothering um kayla much but we're going to have Tessie go to the potty. Poor Kayla. <laughs> I think Kayla's, Kayla's ready to get to her honeymoon part already. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, Tessa, there's a lot to take care of. I mean, we got to put Tessa on the potty. And then I think Kayla's going to try to get Tessa to go to sleep. So she can go have her honeymoon romantic after wedding night with Kate in their bed, you know? And of course, Kate's on the treadmill. I mean, when is Kate not on the treadmill? Come on. Oh, I feel like this girl takes so long. I cannot wait for the day. 
when this girl learns how to potty by herself. Because this takes an eternity. I mean, come on. Just go. Just go, sweetie. All right, so now that Tessa has finally finished taking her poop, um, we're definitely going to put her to bed because Kayla is so ready. <laughs> She's so ready to um, go in there and have her fun with Kate. So, Tessa, baby, I love you. But it's time to close your eyes, sweet girl. Ah, oh, that was easy enough, right? So, okay, okay. Now, um, let me just turn out the lights. I don't know. I just feel like it's really weird to sleep with the lights on in this game. It just really bothers me but now that we have our daughter finally asleep Kayla is gonna go in here where Cade is working out and she's gonna let Cade know um hey babe uh finally got Tessa to go to sleep and she's all hitting you know maybe it's time for us to you know take things to the bedroom and um Cade's laughing a little bit he Cade's just like yeah sure whatever if that's what you want and I <laughs> honestly could care less at this point and Kayla thinks that's a bit odd you don't you, you don't care at this point we just got married and Kate thinks this is a joke okay Kate leans in to Kayla and he confesses something to her that Kayla never in a million years expected to come out of his mouth Kate leans in and he tells her you want to know what's funny you want to know something really hilarious I know Tess is not my daughter and I know that you cheated on me with Trey, but I still married you. Now that, that is hilarious, right? Oh, and oh yeah, just so you know, I only married you because my parents had my trust fund on hold until I could find a suitable enough girl to marry. So I just married you pretty much to get all my money back. So thank you. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for making me a rich man again. This has just killed Kayla. Kayla, I think, is in shock right now. Um, I mean, who would it be? She just got married to this guy. She gave up everything for this guy that she thought was going to be her happy ending. And now this guy marries her and tells her it was all to get his hands on his trust fund because his parents had locked his trust fund until he got married which makes so much sense why they lived in the mansion for so long why they couldn't get their house until after they got married it makes so much sense and it is just now dawning on Kayla that she just made the biggest mistake of her life and she can't back out of it she's too humiliated to back out of it what could she possibly tell people that she got married and now she has to get a divorce because her husband doesn't love her i mean she doesn't want that she's all about reputation and she would die of humiliation if anybody found out so i told you guys i tried to warn you i really did i told you guys that you weren't gonna like Cade for too much longer and he's a snake he is a freaking snake and this whole time he was playing the card as Mr. Nice Guy. You know, he might have had feelings for Kayla at first, but after she cheated on him with Trey and he found out and after he looked into Tessa's eyes and seen Trey, I think that's when officially he stopped caring for Kayla. So maybe his feelings were... Um, honest and real in the beginning but they are definitely not anymore now he is definitely just in it for the money and he's just kind of telling Kayla if you want to if you want to woohoo with me that's cool I guess I mean I'm not gonna turn you down sweetie but I honestly don't care what you do at this point I have my money that's all I care about. Kayla's devastated and I think she's just she's freaking out right now there's so much going on in her head. I think she just needs to get out. Like, she is on the brick of having an anxiety attack. Like, she is about to panic and she just needs to get out of this house. She needs to go find somewhere to go. So, she is going to head over to the Tiki Bar and she is going to call up the person that she would least expect that she would call to meet her there. And that is Trey. She really feels like she needs to talk to Trey and tell Trey 
that Tessa is his child and she made a huge, a huge mistake by keeping it from him. So Tessa ran all the way to the tiki bar. She woke Trey up out of sleep, told Trey it's an emergency, please meet me downtown at this tiki bar at midnight. She's still in her wedding dress and I'm gonna add Trey to the household so I can control him better. But oh, <laughs> poor Kayla, she looks miserable herself right now. I, <laughs> this breaks my heart that I had to do this to her, like... <laughs> Why did I do this to her is the questions I ask myself when I'm up all night. <laughs> How could I do this? The sweet oh so Kayla. Um I don't know. It just, you know, it happened. So we're gonna have Trey. Um I think we're gonna have Trey ask about another sim and he's going to ask her about Kate. He's gonna he's gonna be like, um, Kayla, yeah, um, so How's Kate doing, you know? <laughs> Casually trying to start up something with her. She says, Kate is my ball and chain. We're married. Yeah, I think Trey knows that. He wasn't invited to the wedding, but um, yeah, I think he knows that. I think Trey is honestly so confused as to um, why on earth Kayla invited him here. Um, and Melanie is here as well, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, our, our twin sister is here. Okay, oh, and also, also, while we're on the topic of Melanie, she is pregnant, <laughs> which you guys seen at the last um, part of last episode that, you know, she woo -hoo with Talon at Kayla's wedding, and, and now she's pregnant, but that is a story for a different episodes, my friend. Um, right now, this episode is going to be strictly on Kayla, because Kayla is going through something really hard super hard right now so i think trey is going to come over here and sit i want both of them at the bar and i think trey is gonna order kayla a drink because let's be real here she looks like she needs one and he has no idea why she wants to be here with him on her wedding night i mean she should be home with her husband right but trey has no idea what's going on um he just showed up because they're old friends and she sounded like she was pretty desperate for him to show up so so that's the only reason that he came out here tonight. Um, I really feel like Trey has definitely moved on from Kayla. He just kind of accepted it when he found out that she was engaged and getting married to Cade. And especially when she didn't invite him to the wedding, he just kind of let Kayla go. He let the idea of ever being with Kayla go and now he's moved on and he's off to bigger and better things, you know? He's dating girls now um play in the field i guess and he still cares about kayla obviously as a friend but as of right now that's just <laughs> kind of kind of all it is and here comes melody at the bar talking to trey when kayla is trying to confess to trey that tessa is his daughter but she can't seem to get his attention like i said trey has moved on from kayla he is not in love with with her like he was he's not obsessed with her like he was and i think kayla is definitely not used to that she is used to always having trey's attention all the time and now it's like trey won't even look at her honestly he's too wrapped up in conversations with melanie and dear god i think kayla is going to do a cheers um she's got her drink and she's really mad right now and you know she's i think she's on the break of losing her mind so she's just like oh cheers it's my wedding night and i'm here with trey and my sister who is once again stealing the show and getting all the attention on herself on my wedding night <laughs> like i really feel like kayla would do something that bitter and that salty right now because she is so close to just losing her mind and these poor people have no idea what's going on with her um but i think she is literally about to have um 
a crisis like she's about to have a mental breakdown at this point and she is just going to drink her sorrows away because we all know how well that turns out so trey ends up finally realizing that something is wrong with her something is not right so he pulls her outside she's obviously very sad because it just dawned on her that she really did screw everything up. Now, not only does she not have Cade's love, but she doesn't have Trey's love anymore either. She really just screwed everything up. And out of just being really sad, she's just going to blurt it out to Trey. She's just going to blurt it out. You know what? Tessa is your daughter, okay? Tessa is your kid. You got me pregnant. Congratulations. You have another child. And Trey is so unbelievably shocked right now. He was not expecting that. I really think he honestly thought that Tessa was Kate's kid. Honestly, this whole time. And now, um, Kayla just kind of sprung this on him out of nowhere that, you know, oh, you have a daughter. And, and instead of letting him respond, like he didn't even have time to respond before Kayla just left. Like she couldn't handle it anymore. She couldn't handle it seeing him and knowing that he's over her she just couldn't handle it so she's gonna go back home and i don't know figure out what to do with her life i guess so kayla's back home in this big empty house realizing she can't possibly go up to her bed now and sleep beside the man who just told her he was using her and that he is not in love with her at all so she decides still in her wedding gown <laughs> she decides she's going to just sleep on the couch and just deal with it i guess i mean what can she do honestly what can she do so trey <laughs> trey ends up knocking on the door and when he doesn't hear an answer he just walks in and I am not telling him to do this now. Please keep in mind, I am not telling him to do this. Sure, I told him to come in the house, but w what he's doing now was totally on him. He just completely walked past Kayla and he is making a beeline straight to his daughter that he didn't even know that he had. And of course it wakes Kayla up and she's like wondering what the heck is going on because Trey just literally barged into her home at 4 o'clock in the morning and he went straight to Tessa and the look on his face, honestly, like he's looking at her like it is the most amazing thing in the world. He has a child with Kayla now, and there she sits, and he didn't even know about it. He honestly can't even be mad at Kayla right now because he's so happy. He's so happy to see Tessa, and he just wants to know her, and he really is determined to be a part of her life. Even if Kayla is married to someone else, even if he moves on with someone else new, he still wants desperately to be a part of Tessa's life, just like he is a big part of Ava's life. So this is very important to him. He's going to pick his daughter up and look her in the eye for the very, very first time. And all he can do is smile. She's obviously looking kind of scared at him right now because she doesn't know him. This is just to her. He's just a stranger. He's not her dad. She doesn't know that yet. And... But she's, she's happy at the same time. And Kayla walks in on this moment of her daughter meeting her father for the first time. And it breaks her heart because she's now realizing that was the life she was supposed to have. She was supposed to end up with Trey right now. With their daughter being married, living their own life. And it's not like that because she screwed it all up. And she's heartbroken. She's really, really just heartbroken. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Don't you forget. Don't forget, okay? Don't forget it. Also, subscribe to my channel and like this video up. So, um, all feel loved and happy. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll go to my next video. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Dollar in my pocket, but I rock it like.